I mean, question being, what do I do now? Can I just push you into... Boom! <laughs> oh, that's a way to get rid of people, isn't it? Alright everybody, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Cross Out with me, Spacefish. And welcome to what I think is today going to be a bit more of a have fun with a new build uh, episode and a little bit less of a building episode. As you all may know, um, the last few episodes have been very, very focused on the building because obviously I started out uh, totally fresh with this uh, renewed build and got it up from scratch, then already made a few adjustments based on feedback, and while I do have a bunch of things still on the list that I definitely want to take care of, I'm just quite frankly still very much missing the money. Now I have obviously played a little bit between episodes, but that is um, just frankly not quite enough yet. We will need to farm a good bunch of mats um, that I will then either use to craft or to sell on the market based on what... Uh, the cross out database uh, tells me about what's more worth it and um, then we can use that for other stuff like the ammo crates um, like maybe eventually you know another cam and better wheels and all the other things that we do currently have on the list but quite frankly as I said we really just don't have the money at the moment so that's why I really just kind of want to take the chance to just um, get into a few more PvP battles with you guys, you know, experience the build a bit more, have a bit more fun blapping people with those dual judges up top, and, um, well, maybe, maybe even test out our kind of raid variation of it a bit more. I'm not quite sure we even did a single game with it yet. If we did, like, we certainly haven't gotten much experience with it, so we could eventually just take this thing out as well and, you know, have a bit of fun with it. That said, it's obviously very much not in this final form yet, as I would very much like to get a second rapier for it. But still, you know, I, th I think would definitely be very nice to give that a little check as well. Before the time being, let's go and get ourselves into some PvP battles. And let's hopefully uh, find some fun fights and have some more fun with this vehicle, because so far... I have to say the performance is really, really, really impressing me. Like, um, just seeing how good we did against that drill boy in the last episode made me very, very, very happy, as you all know. Um, very much hated the drill boy menace up until that point, but he literally did next to nothing to me, and uh, we absolutely blapped him. So I hope we can continue that trend, and that we can, through that, get some more stuff to further advance this vehicle. Another thing that I obviously also have on the list is going to be better guns for this thing, um, but I think I want to do ammo first, because I'm not sure if I asked last episode or the one before, um, but I did ask you guys if you could actually have as many ammo crates as you want on a vehicle, and it turns out you can, so I, I would very much like to have, like, at least two ammo crates or something, you know, hide that in the frame, and uh, through that, you know, just, just stay in the, f in the game for a lot longer, so that would be great if we could make that work. For the time being, though, the, a great start would also be if we could make some hits on these dudes' uh, work, so uh, that we can... Hopefully get him off the cap. That dude is slightly in uh, my line of fire right there, though, so that's not too great. Ow! What the heck? Mate! I'm not the street to drive on or something here. Ah! Very nice snipe right there. Pretty happy with that one. And uh, now I am getting... Ooh! Sniped pretty badly as well. So, uh, let's return the favor. God. What a snipe fest this map always is, I have to say. Looks like my team is going a bit... Uh, in a bit harder though now that everything is uh oh are you a drill boy can you oh good god good he is uh kind of burning i'm out of money uh money ammo i'm out of ammo leave me alone i'm out see and that's why i want an ammo crate um <laughs> i'm uh you know, I'm holding up and everything. Still still got 600 HP up front and got a good bit of tank in the bag. But I, I can really not do much of anything, actually. Should we? Boop! <laughs> okay, that was honestly a pretty decent self-destruct, I think. I, uh... Annihilated half their team with it. I, I hit three dudes pretty good with it, and they didn't get it at all. So that was pretty decent, I hope. Um, 
people already told me last episode, you know, don't go too hard with the self-destructs. Um, but there were so many dudes in the cap right there. I don't think I could have really done much more for my team. And I'm thinking that this way, you know, maybe I just barely took the critical mass from the enemy team to kind of help my team win. And it looks like they are very much winning, so I'm very, very happy about that. Only one enemy left back up. It does seem that's a bot name, and I don't see him anywhere. No, there he is. Um... Yeah, seems seems pretty seems pretty dead overall. He does have a gun up still, but he doesn't even seem to be shooting. So, uh, pretty sure we're good on that side of things. And that said, what the heck are these wheels on this thing? <laughs> Those look absolutely mad. It's like you know, the wheels from I don't know, like a Trek wagon from the Midwest or something. <laughs> Super funky. That said. First win of the day, very happy with that. We did obviously, unfortunately, not get any fuel for it, because I did end up blowing myself up. But, you know, just getting some of the daily challenges done, getting some of that scrap metal in, is already hopefully going to do a whole lot for us. Now, another thing that I'm actually doing different is I am not going to be selling stuff together with you guys anymore, at least in, in very few situations, because as was very nicely and correctly pointed out to me, um... In the comments of the last episode, it's it's really kind of a bit of a mistake because I could just put them up for sale and, you know, just wait a few days for it and that way squeeze out the last few bucks possible. So I think I do very much want to do that a bit more in the future. Um, don't want to rush in too much right here, though, I have to say. Ah, totally missed him. So, yeah. I'm just going to stay up on the snipey position again, try and hit people if I can. Ah, I'm doing so bad at it though. I'm so bad. Um. Ah, oh, God. I wanted to reverse away from that shot, but no chance right there, my dude. Take that. Okay. Oh, go, go, go. Hello. Uh, that's that's a whole lot of people right there. Let's maybe back up a bit more. I I don't really want to rush myself into that one. Oh, hello. Please tell me you don't have any drills or the likes. Uh, go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Oh, that's one gun gone off him, but um, that's also all my ammo gone now. So, I mean, question being, what do I do now? Can I just push you into? Boom! <laughs> oh, that's a way to get rid of people, isn't it? Um, I think I should kind of just get myself into the cap here, you know? Keep them from capping it, but like. Maybe I can do like a sneaky, sneaky one and get myself into the cap here somewhat. Do a bit of a ram on that burning dude. Let's try that. Boop. Okay, that was just a slight boop. Though. Okay, so we do have the cap now. I don't see a reason to self-destruct, honestly. These dudes all have no guns whatsoever. We can just go ramming about the place a bit. Or get rammed, you know. It's also an option. Oh, God. My, my fuel tank is a bit open. I don't like that. But let's just stay in the cap. It does look like this is one of the last two dudes. And, uh, he doesn't have any guns whatsoever, and I've got my buddy with me who does have a gun. Oh, he actually just self-destructed. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, that just goes to show you how happy I am with this build, honestly. Didn't even feel that, self-destruct. Like, my front wheels just took the brunt of the damage. And thanks to my back wheels also being steerable, you know, it doesn't, doesn't really matter much to me. Doing pretty fine overall. I've got no clue where that last dude is at once again. Oh, there he is. Thank God. Um, probably help my dude out on this one, shouldn't I? If I can. Um. Oh, God. The fuel barrel is open, and that's the side that it's open on. Okay, let's let's self-destruct here. That's the last dude, so if we can destroy him, that's going to be good for us. Come on, blow up. There we go. And that's the win for our team right there. Very nice. I was just really not kind of sure that my team was going to be, like, totally good there, because, honestly, they were all pretty damaged already, and I didn't want to take have that dude take them all out, so I just decided, let's go the safe route. Let's, uh, let's blow them up. Let's, uh, help the team win that battle, and win we did help them now. Obviously, once more, no fuel for me, so that's obviously not that great on the money side of things, and again, uh, all the wins really, really helping me out very nicely with those daily challenges. So, um, I'm gonna get myself 
look at that though. That's a lot of scrap metal right there. Uh, I'm going to get myself right into one more battle with you guys, and then maybe afterwards I think we can just check out a quick raid or two and just see how good our overall build holds up in that regard. Um, I'm not, like, super incredibly hopeful that it will be, like, a killer difference to what we were doing before. Um, I am kind of hoping that, you know, the difference of, like, infinite ammo will definitely, you know, help us out somewhat. Um, but given that we still have, like, three of the trash level uh, machine guns on there, I'm, like, uh, kind of split on how well it will be perform. So maybe just something to check out for us right there. But for the time being, one more PvP battle for us. Let's try and stay alive this time, shall we? I would like to actually get some fuel out of this as well, because obviously we do also have the possibility to sell that for money so um that would very much be a great thing to have so i'm gonna just get myself uh to a right now with the rest of my team i think uh we can probably camp that somewhat safely for the time being until the enemy team uh is done with c so for now i'm just gonna chill right in here am i even in it yeah, 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 I'm in the cap zone, okay. And then uh, we can see, oh, is there somebody coming up right there? There is, isn't there? The thing is, oh, god damn. Don't push me down that ridge, please. Um, the thing is, you know, it's always kind of hard to estimate what range people are at. And given that you only have these few markers to kind of try and help you estimate, that's not really too helpful, right? There's no ranges written down or anything, so... Always kind of, always kind of not too sure on these things. I'm gonna get myself down here real quick though, um, with that very, very long wheel days. I think I'm pretty much fine hopping down these things. I'm just gonna help my team out to get B. Hopefully, take that. Surprisingly precise. What do you want to say with that one, huh? Oh well, that's a lot of enemies here actually. I thought it was only one or two dudes that I had seen drive over here, but obviously. Kind of not as much the case. Really trying to shoot these guns off, but I'm really also struggling at it. Shot that dude's guns off a bit, though. That's nice. I'm really not hitting his guns nicely, am I? Oh, no, I am. I am. It's not too bad. Um, could I turn, please? Go away. Oh, there's another one. Great. Take that. One less gun for you, mate. I need to actually turn, though. Ah! No, I missed... We've only got one more shot left here. Also, oh no, that's just my gun burning right there. Is he just running? Looks like he is. Oh, and I missed my last shot. Great. Good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Um, let me try and get out of here because I can't do much of anything anymore. So, oh, hello. Uh, I know I shot your guns off, but please don't be mad at me. <laughs> I'm just going to stay in the cap circle till my team... Uh, cap somewhat here, I think. There's only that guy left and then the other dude that was back there. And there we go. Okay, very nice. So we did actually survive that one. And honestly, without breaking much of a sweat, like, I'm really, really happy with this build. I, I can't say it enough. I think it performs like 15 bajillion times better than the old one so far. Like, we were in quite the slugfest right there. And we absolutely blew people off left and right. So I really, really, really love it. Uh, <clears throat> Sorry for that one. <coughs> that said, let's go and get ourselves into this thing right now for a second. I really want to check out how this is going to be doing. The power score is actually higher on this one, which is kind of interesting, I'll have to say. Because I, I really don't expect this thing to be too crazy good or anything. But, you know, we can. We can always try out and uh, try it out and see how we're going to be doing. So what kind of options do we have at the moment? We've got a raid versus bandits. Truck to be loaded. Truck loaded. Raiders have captured the mining rigs. We have to retake the objective and hold on. What are we actually getting from that one? Not quite sure, to be honest. I'm really just kind of looking for an interesting sounding mission, not for a specific material or anything right now, so... Hmm... Kind of just try, trying to find one that's not an escort mission, because I absolutely hate them. That's that's pretty much what it comes down to, so... Uh, missing power score for a lot of these things, though, I'll have to say. Actually missing power score for most of them. Wow. Okay, there's really not much for me to choose from right here, then. Um, what's that reward, though? 
Oh, circuit race. Okay, no, I don't have the vehicle for that. But that's actually interesting. I didn't know there was races in here. That's pretty cool. I need to get myself, like, a racing vehicle with, like, a fast cabin or something. That's pretty cool. We need to get that going sometime. Uh, for the time being, I don't know. It does look like we only have these two options. And this one seems to be not an escort mission. The other one I'm not too sure about. So let's go and do that. Let's get ourselves into one of those raids. And let's see how this thing is going to be doing. I'm really... Really interested to see. For the time being, looks like we're overall pretty slow. I do obviously also not have like any, um, not heat seekers, but uh, heat sinks in this. So let's see about that. It looks like we've spawned into a running rate though. So uh, we are really, really far behind. That is going to take us a minute to catch up, especially in this pretty slow ass thing. So um, let's just hope our teammates get slowed down by something eventually. Because if not, you know. <laughs> That's going to be a pretty boring one. Um, I'm just going to place a quick cart and I'll be back with you guys when we've caught up. Alright, and we've about caught up, I think. We've got our teammates right up front and they seem to be fighting stuff, so let's try and help them out. Oh. Whoa, I'm actually, I'm actually doing more than I thought already. Kind of blowing things up pretty quickly. Eh? I mean, my teammates are shooting stuff too, so I wouldn't, wouldn't say it's only me here or anything, but... Pretty decent performance overall so far. That said, it looks like one of my teammates has just rushed onto somewhere and everybody else is going, oh, a different direction for some reason. I see, that's what I'm saying. I'm really not, I don't know. I'm doing stuff, but I'm not, you know, blapping stuff out of this world or something. So, yeah. Really not the crazy performance. That I would love to have. That said, the rapier also kind of seems to have real big issues with like actually getting the gun down properly. Because if you can see right here, I'm really not getting that very far down, especially in comparison to the machine gun. So maybe if I put that on the gun mount, I can get it a bit further down. Maybe that's like a hard limitation on the gun itself. So that's maybe something we can actually check and see if we can improve on. Um, I don't know where that bot wants to go, but you know, I'm, I'm going to happily ignore him, I suppose. Didn't really like the missiles to my face. Okay. So what do we have? Ow. Whoa. Not very nice. Not very nice right here. Let's try and eliminate all these things. I'm really not getting that rapier down, am I? I think I need to get that up onto a mount or something. Okay, now we need to protect it or what? Alright, I think this is pretty similar to a mission I've already done. But look at this. I'm really not getting it anywhere like... Drill Boy is dead at the very least, so that's great news right there, but I, I'm not hitting shit with a rape here. I'm really only doing damage with my machine guns right now. God. Okay, that's that's uh, quite a bit worse than I expected for, like, actual, you know, angular versatility, I suppose, of the rape here. Like, look at this. It's it's still not getting on target. Yeah, I think that's because... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because of my uh, metal blocks that I have in front of it. That's just a really bit... Uh, a really bad build decision. So that's really not the fault of the rapier, I think. That's just something we will actually have to adjust afterwards. Because look at this. Like, it's, it's just not getting any further down. Because we have that, you know, steel plating in front of it. So that's kind of the big issue right there, it feels like. We've all got the cargo, though. So time to head back now. And what's pretty quick run overall, wasn't it? I do have to say, I'm really, really happy also with, like, the speed compared to my old build. Because as you can see, I'm very nicely overall keeping up with my teammates. So, that's certainly a good thing right there. Because if you all remember, that certainly did not always used to be that way. These dudes all have no guns anymore, so I'm kind of willing to ignore them, to be honest. So, I'm going to head on. Um, teammate, you know, is just, just going to stay, I suppose. But, like, there's no danger for him. These got dudes that don't have any more guns, as I said. So I'm just going to keep going. Also, like, kind of looks like I haven't taken any damage so far. Which is very, very interesting. To say the least. Like, really tanking this stuff easily. And really enjoying it. Um, is that actually... Oh, hello, bot. How are you doing today? You don't have any... I'm not going to shoot, you know, unarmed civilians here. <laughs> so... Well, maybe I am. I don't know. Why not, honestly? Get by. He's following me. How dare him. Uh, I'm, I'm taking something with me here, am I not? What are all these sparks down there? Whoa! Um, careful there, buddy. 
Um, yeah. Overall, pretty smooth run. Like, obviously, my team had a bit of a... A head start. Oh, rocket launcher. Hello. But, uh... I don't know. Like, I kind of joined them halfway, and it was very, very, very chill and smooth. Uh, leader is approaching, though. Interesting. Looks like he's all the way up there, and I'm, I'm still a bit behind. So let me just catch up to that real quick, and... Maybe shoot some bots on the way there. Maybe not if they don't show up. So yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna. Oh, hello. Oh, did I just take off his wheel with my bumper? <laughs> oh, there's the leader. A uh, leader has no guns anymore already. That doesn't uh, seem like a very dangerous one to me then. Okay. Are we good now? Oh, destroy all enemies. All right. Boom. Is there one down there or something? Yeah, see, there's one down there. Well, that one doesn't seem to count. All right. Cool. Victory for us. Good bunch of mats. Obviously no fuel. Um, But yeah, pretty, pretty nice. So I think there's a few learnings, a few takeaways from this, though. Like, we definitely need to do something about the height of the rapier. For some reason, the machine guns don't seem to have that issue, but the rapier is, like... You can't get it down, obviously, because of this. So maybe we can literally just move the machine guns off. And honestly, I'm, I'm really not sure why I'm even giving the rapier the spot far down, the machine gun the spot far up. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Why would I give the weaker weapon the more advantageous spot? I don't quite understand. But yeah, so um, that is then maybe something for us to change right here. You know, just, just give the rapier the better spot that way. You know, I'm just going to attach things like this. And that should hopefully work out a whole lot better. Because, like, for the machine guns, I didn't really feel like I had any issues with getting the guns down properly. So that should overall work out pretty fine. I'm kind of considering, you know, to just bring one up here. But then again, I'm kind of... I mean, honestly, is it, like... No, I mean, the thing is, I can't attach it to the cabin roof right there. So maybe not the brightest idea right there. But maybe we can bring this one over by one? Should still give the rapier decent space. And this one will have, you know... A bit more, you know, freedom as to what it shoots. Okay, so that's a bit of a change right there. I think a pretty decent one, though. So let's uh, overwrite that uh, blueprint. We should also start naming these, by the way. I think at some point, you know, not just yet, because we're still very early into the game. But at some point, this will all not make any sense anymore. Can also apparently get more blueprint slots. I'm not quite sure. What do these cost? Holy moly, that's a lot of money. 200 bucks for one. Wow. Okay, um, that's maybe then something for the future. Let's go for a quick last battle. Let's see if this now brings the rapier down properly for us and if that kind of fixes my last few issues um, with a PvE version of this build. Am I actually still in the PvE mode? Yes, I am. Okay, cool. So um, hopefully that's then going to work out properly. I am, um, uh, yeah, that, that's really kind of just the only thing that I feel we actually need to fix about this thing. Like, we do kind of honestly not need the fuel barrels in this, so probably something to honestly get rid of too. Like, we're not getting any fuel out of this anyway, so why have them in there? But um, as I'm already in the queue, I'd just rather keep it going and get ourselves into battle instead of, you know, waiting for a bajillion years. So that said, it does seem that we're taking a little bit longer on this queue, so I'll place a quick cut right here and I'll be back with you guys when we're in the game. Alright, and back I am. Only with one teammate so far, so um, let's hope there's going to be a few more joining us. Uh, that said, let's also get going and yeah, yeah, I mean, it's still not great. You know, it's, it's very much still not great, but it does seem we're getting the gun a lot further down. Just looking at this, like, we're actually, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. like before this, we could only like shoot like this and that was about it, so... Was very hard. Still somewhat. Ooh, hello, everybody. How are you all doing? Still somewhat hard, you know, but um, pretty all right overall. My teammate is kind of AFK or what? No, he's there. He's there now. Oh, drill boy, drill boy, drill boy, drill boy, drill boy. I don't like drill boys. Ah. Okay. He left me alone. That's good. That's fine. Did they actually drive through their own mines right there? Very interesting one. Well. That said, didn't really take much of any damage. Oh! Whoa! Watch out right there, buddy. God. Please. Bide. 
my basic traffic rules. What's like actually the way that you call it in uh, English properly? Like in Germany, like the rule is kind of, you know, right before left, if that makes sense. So like if you, if you kind of come from the right on a street crossing where there's like no signs of who actually has the right of the way, and the person from the right, you know, kind of goes first. Woo! Hello! How are you all doing? Could you please stop shooting me? That'd be great. But yeah, so um, that, that's kind of just the way that you call it in Germany. I, I wonder if there's like a specific expression for that in English too. Or if it's really just, you know, I don't know. Somebody has the right of way and that's it. Can you all just lose your guns, please? Thanks. I'm, I'm really just prioritizing shooting the guns of these two. It's like, honestly, other than that, no real need for me to kill them, I suppose. Like, as long as they can't shoot me back or drill me down, I'm, I'm overall pretty fine. So, yeah. Oh, you, you right there with a gun? I don't appreciate that, but if you're going to lose that gun, I'm going to be totally fine with it. All right, nice. Overall, though, I have to say, I'm I'm really somewhat happy with the performance of this build. Like, sure, sure, the machine guns are pretty, like, trash level, right? The rapier is obviously doing a lot more damage, but they do really help me in, like, close-range engagements, because I can't always get the rapier as far down as I need it, and the rapier is also moving a lot slower in, like, uh, transversal, you know? So, overall, still a pretty decent combo. And I would say that I am actually doing a lot of damage. So I'm, I'm really happy with it so far. As much as it's not the final build, I think it's still doing pretty decently. Right, your gun is gone, so let me focus on other things now. And there we go. Cool. Great stuff. So we're in the same place as before. Obviously, it's still the same mission here. Um, let's kind of get that guy killed first. I love how we're all just focus firing. It's like great teamwork right here. Look at this. Everybody's just exploding before they even get into the pit. It's just kind of mad. Let me just take care of that too for you. And there we go. <laughs> very, very nice. Look at this. Boom. Madness. Oh, overheating though. Yeah, that's like the only thing that I would really wish for on this build, honestly, is uh, an actual heat sink. I think that would overall help the build out very greatly. Especially with all the guns kind of being working off that same system, right? Um, I think this does make a lot of sense. It's kind of like... Let me pick up that cargo here. Um, it, it's really kind of like... Um, nah. It's kind of like the Atom Crate for the gun setup, right? It just it just makes sense. It just makes sense to have that. I'm not sure if it takes like any energy points or something to get that kind of stuff. But I will most certainly make sure to look into it. Maybe we will need like another radiator or something for it. Could you stop ramming me, please? Did you just actually self-destruct or something? Maybe I should actually get rid of dudes without guns then. <laughs> if the bots actually try and self-destruct on me, that's uh, it's gonna be a worrying one potentially. Oh, drill boy, goodbye. I'm just kind of going with the flow right here. <laughs> like, I'm really not taking much of any damage or anything, because like. Shooting all the guns off and everything, so really just rolling with the flow. You know, my teammate up front is just steaming through, and so am I, honestly, and doing pretty fine. I have to say, I'm not quite sure why that one teammate that's like back there is kind of standing still, but I'm sure you will catch up. No, fuck off, not you. No, can you go away? See, that's, that's where the issue comes in with this rapier not going downwards properly. Can you just explode? Thank you. Holy moly, that dude did a lot of damage to me. Ah, oh, actually, not that much, honestly. Still very annoying. Very, very annoying still. Ah, you know, just, just missing part of my wheels right there. Don't like that one. That said, oh, hello, everybody. Well, only one of them, but, you know. Uh... Just shoot them anyways, and the leader will be up there. We will need to kill all the bots though, so honestly no reason for me not to shoot this dude right now, and he's actually got me kind of stuck right now. Don't like that. 
But there we go. Looks like the leader is already dead. Seems like the dude up front is really taking good care of things. That said, I'm here to help out, buddy. Say so, you no. Know, there we go. Victory. Very, very nice. Already done. Cool. So, um, good bunch of cover from me right there. Really, really, really happy with that overall. And I think a good bunch of mats gained for us today. Obviously, a lot, a lot more work still for me to do. Um, but overall, you know, pretty, pretty happy, you know, got made a little bit of an improvement stall to this thing, and maybe we can also actually take the explosives out someday, because that does obviously not make very much sense in rates. For the time being, though, guys, I do hope that you all enjoyed this little bit of a more PvP, PvE-focused episode with a little bit less um, building for a bit of a change, and, well, hopefully I will have a bunch more stuff lined up for the next episodes in monetary terms, and we will be able to continue making this build better and better but for the time being this is going to be it for today i hope you all enjoyed it if you did please make sure to hit that like button down below that does always very much help out the channel and if you're new around here and did enjoy this content and would like to stay around for more of my videos also definitely make sure to subscribe right down below and hit that bell icon to stay up to date on any future upcoming episodes and that said as always thank you all very much for watching i hope you'll have a great week and i hope i'll see you in the next one ciao